I feel like there's a hole in my chest. I think I deserve at least a goodbye. I suppose she's in some kind of trouble. She took some jewelry. Have you heard from Tony yet? You should have checked in with me hours ago. Move and I'll blow your head off. Lisa! If you want to get out of this alive, you've got to do it my way. I've just been playing with your dog for about an hour. Looks different since we cleaned him up, huh? Come on up. Come on. Oh, wow, to find this place, why'd you move this boat? You got evicted. They're building a new restaurant. Oh, nice of you. Yeah, it's nice, huh? 
You want some espresso, Dylan? You hear of a guy named Nelson Comstock? No. Seattle industrialist, Comstock paper, Comstock mining. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Trashing the redwoods, strip mining Mother Nature. He's my kind of guy. He's been a client on and off for years. About a year ago, he married a young woman he met here in San Francisco, a ballerina by the name of Lisa Fontana. A few days ago, she left him. I think she may have come back here. He wants me to help him find her. You know, Dylan, we got a deal, remember? I don't do domestics. He's a decent guy, Tony, and he's hurting. Do this for me as a favor, right? He's not paying. I am. I'll make it worth your while. Dylan, I got in between a man and his wife one time when I was a rookie. I walk in, this guy's beating her bloody. So what do I do? Pull him off of her, start handcuffing him. She jumps me from behind. I still have the fork marks in my back. I don't do domestic. He took some jewelry, nothing of great value, but things that matter to him. His mother's wedding ring, a brooch that's been in the family for generations. Look, Tony, all he wants is a chance to be able to talk to her. My after deck's rotted. I'm gonna need some new planking. I gotta replace it with kiln dried fur. It's not gonna be cheap. Never is. Flying down from Seattle today. You find the girl, you send me a bill for the wood. I'll we'll meet you here tomorrow. Here's a picture of her. We have a deal? Yeah, deal. Just relax and meet the ball. Oh, you're the tying run. As soon as the ball's hit, you're going, okay? Don't wait for anything. Shot here, huh? I just want you to make contact. Don't try and be Kevin Mitchell, all right? The walk's as good as a hit here. One run, it's all tied up. Play ball! Just make contact, okay? You can do it now. Get your cuts up there. Bella's talk it up. Here we go. Nice and easy. Just meet the ball. Right, Angeline, keep your chin up. Everybody strikes out. Every time. All right, Bell, this is a good game. Come on, everybody. Come on, Bella, let's cheer up. You're still the best softball team in the state. One loss don't mean anything. Hey. Did Angie come out yet? No. Maybe I should go talk to her. No, I'll give her a little more time. You know, all in all, I think they played much better today, huh? Yeah, they played really well. It's a good thing you do for these kids, Tony. It's a good thing they do for me. Girls, girls, what's with the long faces? You should be very proud of yourselves. You played a great game today. Make room. We lost. We played Bernal Heights next. They were city champs last season. I know, Maria, but we've got a long schedule ahead of us, and we're going to play them one game at a time. Okay, tomorrow, practice 4 o'clock, not 4.15. Gloria, anybody late does laps. Okay, we're gonna romp them, we're gonna stomp them. When the smoke clears, there'll be some new city champs in softball this year. The Bellas! Yeah! The city champs! The Bellas! Yeah! Hey. yeah. Maggie, two slices of pizza, not four. Maggie. Remember, you got a stick of last time? There's more. Everybody have a right tone? Yeah! Okay, eat, drink your sodas, and hit line drive. Yeah! Others. Fourth inning, girl on second. Yeah. Nobody out. Maria hit the long fly ball deep. You should have had a tag and go to third. What's in it? Gloria. Gloria. 
Hey, Pop, I think I'm gonna take Angie out of cleanup. Take the pressure off. How do you think that's gonna make her feel, Anthony? The girl needs confidence. Well, how's she feeling right now? You're too soft with her, Anthony. She's gotta be more aggressive. I mean, how's she gonna learn unless she plays under a little pressure? Pop, we're not playing Major League Baseball. This is girl softball. So the ball's a little bigger. Same difference. Just remember, Salvador de Lupo forgot more about the game of baseball than his son Anthony will ever know. Drop me off by the porchy ball courts. All right, but don't stay out too late, Pop. Pooh! Nice work, Tony. You've obviously shot ski before. Hey, well, when I was shooting, the uh, targets were usually shooting back. You miss being a cop. Adrenaline can be addictive. Want to tell me a little bit about your wife, Mr. Cromstein? You must think I'm a prize fool chasing after her like this. Maybe I am. I knew I was taking a chance when I married her. She's half my age. Beautiful. She might have married me for my money. But I'm romantic enough to believe she said yes. Only because she wanted me. I feel like there's a hole in my chest. And a part of me has died. Pooh! You know, if she files for divorce, you can get back the things that she took as part of your settlement. I'd like the chance to talk to her before the vultures start circling. No offense to our friend Dylan, but I don't like lawyers worth a damn. If I can just talk to Lisa, I think we can work things out. Maybe we can't. But I think I deserve at least a goodbye. What if she doesn't want to talk to you? All I want you to do is give me a chance, Tony. Nothing more. All right. You okay? I think I'm gonna quit the team. Oh, great. That'll solve everything. Angie, it was only one game. That I lost. Was that you that dropped the pop-up in the fifth? I could have sworn it was Maria. And the blown double play in the eighth? Need I go on? Maybe if I had a father, he could teach me stuff. Sweetheart, nobody is great all the time. You just gotta do your best and move on. Yeah, but I let everybody down. Nobody said that but you. Quitting is not going to make you feel any better, honest. Then you'd be letting everybody down, and we're a team, right? Come on. I still love you. Come here. Better? You'll live. Candace Blake? Yes. Hi, my name is Tony Wolf. What can I do for you, Mr. Wolf? Uh, I'm looking for Elisa Comstock. Fontana before she married Nelson Comstock. I understand that she used to dance with your company. Yes, she was with me for 18 months. I suppose she's in some kind of trouble. No, no. She's uh, left her husband and he'd like a chance to ask her why. Lisa never cared for anyone but herself, Mr. Wolf. 
We were in the middle of a performance series when she met her, met her Mr. Wright, and she walked out without so much as a backward glance. I haven't seen her since. Was there somebody she was close to? Somebody who might be able to give me a lead? Well, she did use to room with another dancer. Bobby Llewellyn, I think it was. But I haven't seen Bobby in years. All right, ladies, thank you. That's very nice and enough for today. Susan Witt for me in my office. I'd like to talk to you. Anything you might have on this Bobby Llewellyn would be helpful. Old yeah. address, old phone number. No, I'm sorry. Anything. All I have on Bobby is a vague memory. But she was a dancer, Mr. Wolf, and dancers dance. You might try some of the jazz studios. She might be teaching classes. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello? Hi. Yeah, she's here. Hang on. Lisa? Susan. Hey, Susan, what's up? You're sure when? Oh, God, no. Thanks, Susan. Nelson's got a guy looking for me. He knows I'm here. God, Campbell. Easy, Lisa. Don't panic. We'll go out to the cabin. He's not going to look for you in the middle of nowhere. we will be okay. We'll go right now. I'll pick up some groceries and bring them out right after work. You'll be safe from this side. Forget about the ball. Go. Let me see your hand. My hand? Take off your mitt. That's what I thought. What? Your hands. You got clean hands, and Look, Andy, you're a very good ball player. And these girls look up to you. You're a leader. But sometimes you got to get your uniform dirty. You got to get your hands dirty. You got to get down in the dirt where the ball is. Capisce? What are you waiting for? Okay. Okay. Where's my fat? There it is. <laughs> All right, third base. Third base. Let's bring it home. Bring it home. Bring it home. Bring... Way, brother. Give me that hey, ball. All right. Good. Beautiful. Come on, girls. Coach is here. It's about time. Get stuck in traffic. Yeah, yeah. 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 Is everybody at Gloria here? Hey! Let's start practice. Yeah. Well, if anybody who's late runs laps, coach. Right, guys? Yeah. 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 Twelve minutes late. Give me a break. Anthony. Yeah, it's bad. What is this, a conspiracy? At least let me put my spikes uh -uh, on. Uh-uh, we're late already. Run, Tony, come on. Run! Yeah. I'll get you all in practice later. A lot of smile. And a hug chaser. Tony the Wolf! Oh. Hey, you cleaned up your act, didn't you? Yeah. It's been what? A couple of years? Well, at least a couple. Yeah, it's good to see you. You too. Still Johnny Red Rock? No, no, no. It's been a couple of years for that too, Gilda. Look, got a lot of ground to cover, no time to do it. I'm looking for a dancer named Bobby Llewellyn. You know her? Bobby. Yeah. I know Bambi. Hell, I know about 13 Bambis. Bobby with a Y or an IE? IE. She used to dance in toe shoes and tutus? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Oh, sure. Yeah, she worked here for about one set a year back. You know, you might fall by Neon Dreams. New place? Yeah, it's up off Union Street. It's a yuppie joint. Have a couple black with me? No, no, no. Let me get a rain check. Hey, Tony. What? The jam you got in with the heat? I never bought it. Appreciate that, Gilda. Keep it clean, Tiger. Do you really think you can find her? Uh, it's a long shot, Nelson. You know that. 
Tony's trying to find a dancer Lisa used to room with. He thinks she might be working in one of the Broadway clubs. I'll let you know as soon as he's got something. Have someone so special, then lose her. Why can't I be smart about this? Just walk away, let her go. Because you love her. Private audition? Well, if I was, you'd get the part. I'm Tony Wolf. Bobby Llewellyn. Can I buy you a drink? You already have. Oh. Look, I'm very tired. Oh. What's on your mind? I'm looking for a girl that you used to room with. Lisa Fontana. What are you, an old boyfriend or something? Nah, I just wanted to talk to her. I was hoping you'd be able to tell me where I could find her. I haven't seen Lisa since she got married. From last I heard, she moved to Seattle. I heard different. Look, the coffee's lousy, and I've got another three sets. So, if you'll excuse me. Well, if you change your mind, why don't you give me a call? Here's my number. Mike. I'd like you to meet Mr. Wolf. You got two choices. I can walk out of here, or you can carry me out. Think about it. north of 17 just off 101 and i'm at some small motel it's called milo's uh, on the right side of the road good keep an eye on her i'll call comstock oh dylan wait a minute you tell him to sit tight until i have a chance to talk to her okay if she doesn't want to see him it's her choice all right peggy connect me with nelson comstock please yes Your head off. My husband.
and send him. Let's everybody relax. My name is Tony Wolf. He must have followed Bobby. You came a long way for nothing. He said he just wants to talk to you. He's coming here. He's coming. We've got to do something. Just relax. It's empty. I'm not here to hurt you. I was just hired to find you. He'll kill me. She's not going with you. Stay down. You gotta do it my way. You understand? Understand? You stay quiet and you stay close. I'm down the hill. You got your eyes shut? You can't even see the play. How can you make the, the call? The girl was out. Now, that's it. Now, why don't you do us both a favor and get off the field? Come on, Sam. It's all right. Wait! Hey! Nobody makes a call like that and walks away from Salvador de Lupo. Now, I'm warning you. Get off the field or I'm going to have to throw you. You and how many other guys? Disgraciado, imbecile, Sustovar! Now, the team! That's it. You're out of here. Did you hear what he said? That's not true. Now. Come on, guys. We got a game to win here. Let's go. Tony. Where's Tony? I was just about to ask you the same question. Figured I'd be able to find him here. Yeah, well, he didn't show up, left us high and dry, and we need him. If he's not with you, where is he? There's nothing to worry about. He can take care of himself. Probably just caught in traffic. Yeah, the truck. Maybe it's the truck. The damn truck's always breaking down, huh? I'll try my office again. Maybe he's checking out. Mom, yeah, Mom, we need you. Yeah. Uh, Dylan, you, you see him? Tell him we need him here now, okay? Okay. Mom. Yeah, uh, girl? Okay, we're looking good. We're gonna make a go for my truck. Well, what is he waiting for us? What if it's a truck? It's the only choice we've got. Come back. Listen to me. I've got a gun in my truck under the seat. All we gotta do is get there. All right. Oh, God. Come on. What is it? 
You ripped out the ignition wires. Is dancing. Can't run. Can't wear high heels. He's gonna kill us. The same way he killed Campbell. Uh, got plenty of chances to kill us, Lisa. This guy's just playing a game with us now. Was Campbell your lover? Huh? A million years ago. He was Bobby's brother. What am I gonna tell her? What am I gonna tell her? What about Comstock? You love him? He loved me, that was enough. I lived my whole life never being good enough to make the cut. I was a good dancer, but I wasn't great. Candace was going to drop me when I met Nelson. I shined him on at first, but he wouldn't give up. Flowers, limos, jewelry. He pursued me like I was the only woman on earth. He made me feel special. For the first time, I felt good enough. I mattered. After we were married, he changed. The games got kinky. Dangerous. He just turned into something dark and ugly. He owned me. Why didn't you leave him? I did. And he dragged me back and he beat me black and blue. And then he cried and he kissed my bruises. <laughs> I knew if I ever, if I ever tried to leave again, he would just follow me and find me and kill me. Nobody's gonna kill you. Nobody. Time to go. You ready? I can't believe Tony missed this game. He knows how important it is to me. 
Blame it on that big shot, Lloyd. He's probably got him running around somewhere doing... God knows what. There must be something wrong. He wouldn't do this unless there was something wrong. I'm going to call again. Hello, this is Connie Bakari. I need to speak to Dylan Elliott. It's important. Maybe he knows something. Connie, I was just about to call you. Have you heard from Tony yet? You should have checked in with me hours ago. I was hoping maybe you'd heard something. He never showed up for the game. He must be in some kind of trouble. Let's hope not. Look, I'm going to try to track him down. I'll call you the minute I've got something. Don't worry. Okay, bye. What do you say? Emergency. Get me the sheriff. Stand up. Somebody, a caretaker. Yeah. Maybe a payphone.
chair. Down. Is anybody here? can't get away with this. If he kills us, they'll catch him. Maybe not. A boat. But without a motor, what kind of a chance do we have? Slim and none. Come on. Standing there, right? I could see her running towards me, but I just kept thinking about what Sal said. What did you say, Pop? I don't remember. He said that in order to play ball, sometimes you got to get your hands dirty. And so I held on, and we won the game. That was great. I'm really proud of the engine. I'm just sorry I couldn't be there to see it. Sorry. Won't miss it next time. Why don't you tell that to your friend, the big shot with the fancy car? Dylan. All right, Angie. And don't talk too much, because when dinner's ready, we eat. Yeah, yeah. A lot of kiln-dried fur, paid in full. I'll deliver it tomorrow. Good. You got the short end of the stick on this one, Tony. If you walk away, it's a win. I, uh... I thought I knew the man. All right, manjamo. Why don't you stick around? We've got plenty. Another time. You sure? Yeah. How's the leg? Yeah, I'll use it to walk with. Yeah. Hey, hey. I don't know what that big shot up got, what kind of work he's got you doing, but it can't be too good. You're always getting hurt. Look at that knee. Puff, it's okay. It'll heal. That's okay. I, hey, Connie, look, that's okay. What? It's okay. Well, it don't look okay to me. Puff, this is what I do. Sometimes you got to get your hands dirty. Don't burn my sauces. On the next wolf. No, Daddy. Look, I am not telling you again. Next time I see you around here, I'm calling the cops. He's not a stray dog. He's a human being. He's deranged. He's very strong. Probably a repeat offender. But you have got to get to him before he does anything to my child. Daddy, the police are outside. We got to work this out. Daddy.
Hi, this is Pat Sajak. Hope you'll join us tonight. Country singing superstar Barbara Mandrell will be here along with Baseball Hall of Famer Johnny Bench and comedian Steve Kelly. Now get ready as Richard Chamberlain returns to network television and a new series, Island Sun, next on CBS.